may have seen scooters left in front of businesses or homes without any locks or chains lately. Well, the company Bird launched in Austin just as city officials started seeking out feedback on the dockless bikes and scooters. Tonight, KXAN's Eugen Cho went to the first listening session. He tells us what the city's main concerns are. It was a great way to get around the city fast. It was fun. Drew Salzman says he first learned about these electric scooters in L.A. Now they're in his backyard here in Austin. First I would walk, then I got a skateboard. I started to skateboard around, then B-Cycle came, that, so I biked everywhere. Now we have these electric scooters. BIRD is an app you download that shows you where the fully charged electric scooters are parked. Once you find the scooter that you want to rent, all you have to do is scan the QR code and that unlocks this scooter. Then to get it started. Kind of pedal it to get it started. And then you're free to ride. Saltzman says he hopes using an electric scooter remains easy. I love the convenience of being able to walk up, scan it, and instantly ride. But the city is looking for ways to regulate dockless bikes and scooters. Their number one priority. How these uh, dockless bikes or other modes of transportation are placed at the end of a customer's trip is the most important part because that's where the tripping hazards come into place. Transportation officials say how many permits and what kind of rules are still up in the air, but their focus on safety won't change. At the end of the day, that's that's the, the, the responsibility of the city to do that. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. Bird told us they did obtain a business license to operate in Austin. The city says as the public engagement process continues, if any e-scooters are blocking a sidewalk and left there for more than 48 hours, the scooters will be impounded by the city.